Hey realists, it's August 12th, it's your man the wizard, and I am still rather burnt out on this whole Doom thing, however I can't resist not to speak about it because it is one of the stories of our lives, and I have to exist in a sick society like many of you. Indeed, it is a special form of hell to be awake and aware. Open your eyes. Support this channel. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's rapid fire through the vitals first. July 2023, global air and ocean temperatures have reached new records. Highs, reporting from Copernicus website. You can see here way off the charts. Uh, all that excess heat stored in the oceans is bubbling up to the surface and has nowhere to go. Look at that line. It's going off the charts. We need new charts. Where does this go? Yep, business as usual. You can read all these uh, specifics on your own, but uh, it was warmer than average over most of Northern Europe. From the Black Sea to Ukraine, how about the Arctic? Yep, also trending alongside our record 2020 minimum. Right above there. And considering it's just getting warmer, okay. We can't even fix it. In fact, it would take centuries to reverse Antarctic sea ice loss as warming intensifies. The minimum summer ice cover, which last year dipped below 2 million square kilometers for the first time since records began, fell to an even further low in February. Um, it's going to take <clears throat> excuse me, it's decades, if not centuries, for these things to recover. There's no quick fix to replacing this ice. It's 20% lower than the average over the past 40 years. Even if it's possible, what does it mean to you? Published two days ago, Climate Change Multi-Level Sticker Shock on Axios. The hidden cost of living in the U.S., uh, particularly susceptible to extreme weather, are becoming increasingly more obvious and expensive I think a bottle of Heinz 57 now is $5.67 or something like that. I mean, everything. Like, the costs, okay? Uh, July was the hottest month, you know, record, globally. Uh, and if you don't think this isn't going to affect uh, your food supply, again, in denial, delusion, where's that picture here? Do I have it? Yeah, that. That is the world we live in, okay? And you guys are here. You know, costs are piling up and uh, everywhere. Everywhere. It's going to be trillions of dollars. Janet Yellen said it's an existential threat. Biden said it was an existential threat. You can read the rest of this. I'm not going to go. The costs are enormous, yada, yada. Uh, the U.S. is already experiencing about $31 billion to $34 billion in losses from flooding alone. It's coming home to roost for Main Street, you and I. But Biden plans to... Invest $1.2 in projects to suck carbon out of the air. So, you know, we'll just throw a billion at it, even though it's costing us trillions. A, a simple billion, you know, we'll get the CO2 out, we'll build it in Texas, projects in Texas and Louisiana. Louisiana. These projects are going to build these regional direct air capture hubs. They're trying to link everything from capturing to processing to deep underground storage all in one seamless process. So from the same states that we churn and process fossil fuels to power our civilization, we can also suck it out at the same time. How ingenious. How American. They'll, they'll power it with clean energy from local power utility, you think so? But have plans to power facilities with renewable energy in the future. What if we don't have the renewable energy? What if we suddenly get into nuclear conflict or, I don't know, the grid goes down? Meanwhile, China avoids any at all discussion on um, climate despite extreme weather. Boy, do they sure love to pound us with ads, huh? Uh, but play golf, okay? You wonder why most Americans are clueless morons. We are indoctrinated and propagandized. Record heat and historic floods in China failed to ignite domestic public debate. No, man, it's just the weather, okay? It's just the planet will be fine without us. Uh, I mean, what's it going to take? Yeah, what's it going to take? Um, 
Extreme weather nowadays is becoming more frequent, said a 53-year-old resident in Hebei, city of Zozu. We can't comment on that. We are not authorities. The summers are hotter than before. The winters are not as cold as before. Whose crops and home were damaged by the floods. Huh, what's it going to take? Okay. Does, does Heinz 57 sauce need to be like $10? Huh? How much meat sauce? How much does it cost? All right. How do we feel about it? According to the Pew Research Center, nobody is really caring, okay? In-depth analysis refines that some Americans consider crisis language overblown, leading to added skepticism of the claim. So if you say, this is an emergency, people will say, oh, I'm skeptical because I'm a Gen Xer. Or a millennial conducted in-depth interviews with 32 U.S. adults, which is a mm, decent sample size. I feel like that could have been much more. Um, but... They asked them a range of questions. Let's look at the charts. So 14% of Americans, these are people in hard denial, um, clearly not rational or capable of exercising critical thinking, think that there's no solid evidence that the earth is getting warmer. I feel sorry for them. And I hope they don't come within 100 yards of me in the next several years. Because uh, they also, 26% believe mostly due to natural patterns. Um, 46% believe mostly due to human activity. 14% of people are truly clueless morons. Okay. And the president should be dealing with climate change should uh, not be done, not be too important, be important on a lower priority. Okay. I mean, you're saying this should all be right here, right? If we lived in a rational and sane society they would be 100 percent right here only 46 percent americans say americans even though the rest of the world is adamantly in agreement agreement that we are human activity is a primary reason i mean i've had to cut off i mean there's one thing to cut off friendships and relationships from covid but this i don't make any excuse for okay the evidence is unequivocal and clear 26% say it's caused by natural patterns. It's just the weather, okay? Only 30% of us say it should be the top priority, even though it's causing trillions of dollars and effing Maui is literally on fire. <sighs> um, you know, you can look at this. Like this guy in his 50s, uh, coastal Florida. I think the extreme weather events are not happening more. I think I know... I think people know about them more. We know about a tsunami hopping across the world, whereas 50 years ago, we may not even have heard of it. See, the guy in their 50s, Gen Xers, quasi-boomers, um, have no tolerance, zero tolerance for. Really? I think it's just cycle of the life of the cycle of the earth, and they're just happening a little bit more. It's just the cyclical part of what's going on with the planet and coastal Florida. Yep, the same place, real quick, jump ahead, to that will deny climate science approved by Florida. As a state curriculum, so they're playing. Um, they they say that we're climate. I'm not a climate activist. I'm a doomer. I'm a realist. But you know, I'm a Nazi. You know, who wants who thinks that life. You know, the three million public schools. They're gonna right wing indoctrination. Okay, a lot of rambling here, guys. But it's propaganda 101. I mean, just pure insanity. Wow, like that's what we're doing. People are like whoever drew these things, just. I can say so many violent things, but in order to not lose any more female subscribers, uh, let me not do that. I'm sure you guys can handle that. Um, you know, it's a natural cycle. You know, humans, I, I don't believe as humans are 100% responsible for climate change. Um, um, let's see. Let's look at um, let's look at our one of the most highest universities. You know, we can't even trust them. 99.9% .9 of studies agree humans cause climate change. All right. A survey of 88,125 climate-related studies. Okay. Deny. Deny it. Reality. Denial is a deep, unconscious reaction that these grown-up children, man-children, cannot even address. 67% of Americans... See no evidence of climate change and have literal little or no trust in climate scientists. This is why, this is why, okay, percent of who trust climate scientists to give a full and accurate information. Look how divided we are. How is this not a civil war? How is this not societal collapse built in? For only 45% of Americans would feel upset if production of phased down. I mean, look how divided we are. Like, seriously, this is why I completely gave up on activism a few years ago. I was telling everybody I knew, 
um, that we need to change course. I tried my best. I did my effing part, okay? Instead, let's deny it and make more videos. You have no control. Biden says it's an emergency statement on climate change. He says, uh, yeah, we've done a lot for it. The, the Weather Channel says, are you willing to declare a national emergency because I don't know, Hawaii is on fire, trillions of dollars of uh, flooding, fire, crop damage, um, on and on and on. But he'd already done that. You know, he'd already declined because he'd rejoined the Paris uh, Climate Accord. Practically speaking, yes, it's been declared. No, no, no. We're talking about World War Three here. Like, if we really declared it, we would convert every single production facility to be making renewable energy, let's say. You know, if you were to take the lens of Nate Hudgens, who thinks we can out-technology our way out of the problem, and he has more subs than me. Really? After the hottest month, because because an unconscious feeling of denial, right? At the hottest month, we need to do more. Look at the poor animals. You know, zoos are serving up refreshing treats to keep their animals to beat the heat. We're, we're ruining the habitat for animals. Uh, it's a lot hotter than last seen in 125,000 years. Uh, the wildfires from Canada have released 1 billion tons of CO2. You know, but it's not real, guys. It's humans didn't cause it, okay? Humans... It's pure insanity, you know? Action is the antidote to despair. Well, after, if we need to do more. Like what? Like, build another gas station, Bucky's in Ohio? Is that what you're talking about doing more? Or increasing, you know, gas uh, production to 88 million barrels or whatever, 88,000, whatever Biden's talking about? Hmm? That's what we need to do more time? Is that how we d deny it? Is that how we don't even see evidence for it? Yeah. Completely, totally, utterly, hopelessly fucked. In every capacity of the word. Every meaning, okay? Just, you're full of air, Nate Hudgens. You're, this is all, <laughs> we're done. Stick a fork in it, we're done.